I'm going to go to Tools, and then PDF Transcript Preferences. This is where you need to go to set up your preferences before you create every single PDF. You'll notice here that I have a standard, a California, and Texas. If you have not already set this up, you will only have standard. The reason why I have California and Texas is because those states have different laws, and the attorneys like the transcripts to look a little different. So I'm going to open up my standard by double-clicking, and this is the PDF transcript preferences. So from here, there are tabs that you need to set up. For example, the general tab, I can choose between the different paper sizes, letter, legal, custom size, A4, I'll leave this at letter. I can change the margin. Some people like to hole punch the transcripts on the left side, so maybe I want to move my margins a little bit more to the right. You can change the borders from single line to none to double. You can also bold the Q&As for the questions and answers. Document, you can change the title, the author, the subject of the actual PDF. The reason why you want to use PDF transcript because it saves you some time. All the data is in your system already. Your job date, the job number, the case name, witness name, all that stuff is already entered in RB, so you don't need to go to a different program and re-enter all that data. If I want to change the subject from the case name to something else, I can click on this Actions button, and any time that you see these actions, when you select that, you can add a data field. So I can choose between my company name, the case name, job number, job date, reporter name, witness name, etc. You can also add a cover page to your PDF transcripts. You can customize the headers and footers of the transcript. So at the top left header, I'd like to put my witness name. On the top right, I'd like to put my case name. You can even add a logo image to your transcripts too. Word index, word list, you also have an option to create these. So under location, there are four different ways of doing this word index. The first one, you can do none. So if you don't want a word index, append to transcript. That just means to continue on to the transcript. If your transcript is 50 pages. The 51st page will be the very first page of the word index. A PDF has an ability to have files inside a PDF which means that you can upload your exhibit files into that transcript, the original ASCII file, or other files related to that witness. So if you like the word index, the word list, the condensed transcript, and the PDF in all in one, you attach the transcript. Or if you want a separate document, it creates a PDF as a separate PDF file, and it creates a word index as a separate PDF, so it's two separate files. There's a condensed. You can change the font name, Scale font size, the order, some people like it horizontal instead of vertical. And then digital signatures. I'm going to get to this later on, but you can actually digitally sign your PDF transcripts from VeriSign certificate. Before you start creating PDF, you want to set this up so that way you don't have to change the preferences every time you create a PDF transcript. Over on the right side, you have a list of common word exclusions like A, about, above, etc. So if you want to customize this list, just hit add or remove. So going back, to my turn-in screen. I'm going to double-click on the witness again, go to witness level repository, and then I'm going to select my transcript. And up here at the top right, there's a Create PDF Transcript button. I'm going to click on that, and the preferences come up. This is the preferences from under Tools menu. So in case you want to change something on the fly, you can change it in here. Up here at the top is where you can choose a different profile. So you can say, like, if I was creating a transcript for a California client, I would choose California. This is going to be my standard, so I'll leave this how it is. I'm going to click OK. And the verified transcript screen will come up. So this way, if I want to make sure that the spelling is correct, sometimes you need to look at the case name. If I don't connect the first couple of pages, like some people don't like to connect the first three pages because it's the title. The case name is already in here. Witness names, save and close. And now it's going to take me to the final step of creating a PDF. So this is what the PDF transcript looks like. I'll zoom in a little bit so that way you can see. Up here at the top are all Adobe Reader's controls. In order to open any PDF, you just need Adobe Reader. And Adobe Reader is free. Most of all attorneys will have Adobe Reader installed. I'm going to scroll down so that way you can take a look further into the transcript. Let me zoom out a little bit. So I have my witness name. I have my case name. My company name. And the page number. I have my borders on here. I like the divide line for the line numbers. 
This is what the word index looks like. Very simple. And then the word list. The difference between the word index and word list is the word index actually shows you where the word was used, on what page, what line. Word list is just how many times the word was used in the transcript. And then the condensed. Um, I didn't condense the first couple of pages because to me I think it looks nicer. So I'm just going to scroll down, but this is what the condensed looks like. I'll zoom in. So it's about four pages per page. 